Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck, and today we're back in EverQuest Project 1999 on Malik Dori, and today we're going to do the Dark Forge Armor Quest. Our first stop is Kazakh Thul. This is where I expected to spend most of my time, and I did. I was here for more than four days, and over 30 hours. I was killing slow because I didn't have my fungi yet, and I was also solo most of the time, but I did also have Iltar and Ryu come out and help me on some days. There are two mobs that drop the decayed armor pieces, the Crusaders and the Ritualists. The Ritualists are a three hour spawn while the Crusaders can spawn off of any mob in the Temple, Archon Pyramid, and the Kazakh Pyramid. As you'll see, most of the mobs that I ended up getting the pieces on were the Ritualists. This includes the male Breastplate, Van Brances, and also the Greaves. So this is where I spent most of my time was doing my, my rotation and then going back and checking on him. But like I said, I worked out that he ended up being around three hours uh, between spawns. Uh, one night I was in here and Radar, a friend of mine, was here and he talked to me about holding aggro as a shadow knight because I was having problems in Kale holding aggro off of all the DPS. So he talked to me about uh, instead of using the same spell over and over, Disease Cloud, to actually use multiple spells like Shroud of Hate, Shroud of Vortex, and also the dot on my gloves. He said that instead of just pulling straight up using a dot or anything like that, always pull with Shroud of Hate or Vortex as they don't actually do any physical damage. And once the pull is in, cycle in Disease Cloud, Darkness, and then uh, continue on, but never cast the same spell twice. Um, so that was one thing. I actually spent a lot of time talking to him that night. Uh, we were here for a good amount of time, though. Once you're done here, uh, you want to travel over to North Corona. The way I did this was from west to east because I knew the final location was going to be in Lesser Fadark. So this is where you need to get the Kino shield. You can go to Kinos if you want to, but Frederick actually drops it almost every time and uh, was very easy to get it. He isn't a very hard mob, especially at my level. I believe I was 54 at the time, or 53. So it made for um, easy pickings. Honestly, most of this section from here on out was done within two hours. So it really didn't take me very long at all. From here, we go to Solasec Row, or A, and we get the Melanite, Melatite, I think is what it's called. And uh, you need two of those, which are, again, very easy to get. Once you have those, we head over to Freeport and we need to get the helmets that drop off of the guards. I found that the helmets actually drop mostly off of the blue con guards to me at 54. So uh, it made it um, so I was at least getting some experience while I was also getting the helmets. From here, we head over to Lesser Fadark because we need to kill Pixies. Poor little Pixies, they're really fast to kill. And both of the mobs that I ended up pulling dropped the Pixie Dust that I needed. So it, this was probably one of the faster parts of the quest. And I really enjoyed it too. I got to see some of the zone that I had never seen before. Like there's a tower in the zone nearby. I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, also, I went to the Brownie uh, Fort and checked it out. But I didn't see that there was anything that I really could use from here. So once I was done, I uh, finished here and went over to Steamfont to kill the Minotaur Lord. Minotaur Lord drops the Minotaur Broken Horn, which is uh, what you need for one of the pieces. And that's pretty much it. That is gathering all the parts. I make it sound easy, but um, or maybe not, uh, saying that it took me four days and over 30 hours to get the decayed pieces. But once you've gotten those pieces, this is pretty much the, uh, the bulk of the rest of the quest. After here, we head back over to Lava Storm and into the Temple of Solasek Row. On the second floor, we should find two undead knights. Hail! Away from this place, a 
of torments. Make haste and flee before you to share my gruesome fate. What gruesome fate? I was once a proud shadow knight, but failed I did my master's quest. I was sent into a lizard fortress deep in the swamplands. I was to seek out an ancient item for my master. I failed and was captured. The lizard stripped me of my dark forge armor and planned to boil me alive before they could do so. I escaped. Upon my return to my master's lair, I found myself in a worse predicament. What worse predicament? I was torn apart by my master, and my bones were given as toys to my master's associates. I am now only half of Grand of the Vile. My hands beat and legs were sent here and assembled with spare bones of other unfortunates. Since this is the case, I can only create dark forge armor in the form of boots, greaves, and gauntlets. Can you create dark forge armor for me? I and I alone have the power to create dark forge armor. It was crafted for me, so naturally it is to be worn by a shadow knight. My armor was taken by the lizard crusaders. Unfortunately for them, it lost all. I seek the Dark Forge armor. Dark Forge gauntlets require both a my Kate gauntlets and one enchanted platinum bar. So then we go ahead and turn in the left and right gauntlet plus the platinum bar that I had enchanted by a friend of mine. Greaves. I need both decayed leg blades and two pieces of melatite from the Solsec Mining Company. I hand him the decayed leg plates left and right, as well as two pieces of melatite. I need both my decay boots and two parts of very dust. We hand him the left and right decayed boots, as well as two fairy dust that we got from Lesser. Now we head over to the other undead knight and hail him. Leave this place or find yourself bound to the land as I am. How are you bound to this land? I I was torn to pieces for my failure to complete the task for my master. I lost my life, my precious Shadow Knight armor, and most of all, my lower body. What happened to your lower body? My lower body was taken from me, along with my hands. I was pieced together using portions of other failed champions. Now. I can only create dark forge armor in the form of helms, breastplates, amaranths, and braces. What dark forge armor? Dark forge helms require my decayed helm and visor, as well as two freeport militia helms. We hand him the decayed helmet and visor, as well as two damaged militia helmets from the freeport guards. The breastplate requires the decayed breastplate, decayed mail, and two enchanted.
Enchanted Platinum Bar. We hand him the decayed breastplate and mail, as well as two Enchanted Platinum Bars. Vamrances need both decayed Vamrances and a Kano Scarred Kite Shield. We hand him the right and left decayed Vamorances, as well as the shield that we looted from Guard Frederick. The prices require both decayed prices and the horn from a Minotaur Lord. We hand him the right and left decayed bracer, as well as the Minotaur Lord horn. Alright guys, that is the complete Dark Forge armor quest. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it other than the long camp times. That said, if you are playing on another character, a mage, a monk, something along those lines, you have uh, probably a higher chance to get the armor complete faster than I did as playing solo and just really AFK watching videos the whole time. So it really didn't bother me how long I was actually here. Hopefully you enjoyed. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing to the videos that I've been posting. I really appreciate all of your comments. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.